a little bit different type of recovery. There's a new Facebook group and it's a Statler group and it's proven to be very beneficial as far as support and information. So you might want to check that out and go and join that group. But earlier there was a student that wanted to have a particular setup of a quilt and she wanted to do one full row of patterns and then another full row of patterns and have them set up somewhat like this and be able to quilt those patterns out. She wanted to set it up in edge to edge or repeat patterns and she wanted to use it instead of concatenating one full row be one pattern and one full row be the other pattern. So they would alternate all throughout the quilt. So I got you thinking about that and the easiest way to set it up. And I want to show you a little bit about how I did that. So I'm going to delete these off the screen by clicking my little X. I will tell you that it is best to start with patterns that are the same size. Because otherwise when you concatenate, the first pattern is going to determine the size of what the second pattern is. And you also want to make sure that the density is right on both patterns or your quilt is not going to lay flat. You can see when I drag these onto the screen, these patterns are different sizes. So they're really not going to be a good match as far as concatenating. So I'm going to take those off the screen. I'm going to choose this first pattern. And I'm going to go to repeat patterns. It's going to have me place one on the screen. And if I'm happy with that size, and 12 inches is a pretty good size, I'm going to close up some of my setup boxes. And I'm going to say that my quilt is 55 inches. Move my mouse onto the screen. Creative Studio is going to maintain the aspect of that pattern, and it's going to give me four repeats. If I click on again, click another spot on the screen, choose the second pattern that I want to use, and left-click on it, it's the same, pretty much the same size as the first pattern, which is a good thing because now the density is going to be correct. So I have set up the first, basically, first row of my quilt and basically the second row of my quilt. So I'm going to say, okay, I need to select this pattern I need to right click and I need to save the pattern. I would not save it to my database because this is not something that I want to use over and over and over again. And I will just give it a name and say save and close. And that's my first pattern. Now select the second pattern, right click, Save pattern, uncheck database again. I'm going to give it the same name, but I'm going to put a two behind it. Save and close. Now I can either keep those patterns or delete those patterns. And you see in my project tab, I have both of those patterns. They start and end at the same place. That's another thing that's really important, that they start and end correctly, and they'd be pretty much the same density. Select the first one, hold down my control key and select the second one. And I am in standalone mode, but we know that we can set a quilt up in edge to edge in standalone mode. I'm going to left click my upper left, left click with my mouse on my upper right. If I were at my machine, I would be doing this with the head of the machine. I'm going to tell Creative Studio, see how it puts in 55 inches and 11.99 because that's what size the quilt pattern is. This one pattern with a repeat of four is now one whole pattern. I'm going to tell Creative Studio that my quilt is 38 inches. Move my mouse onto the screen. It gives me an error message because I have end of set as the default and this pattern starts and stops at the top. So I'm just going to say yes to change it to place two pins and Creative Studio is going to set that quilt up. Even though this pattern is 55 inches, it changed it to 54. Even though it's that size in edge to edge mode, 
It is the clicking of the boundary that determines how that pattern is going to go in there and it's gonna maintain the aspect. I'm gonna say, okay, and that's how you would set up that quilt. You don't have to go to repeat patterns. You can do that in the edge to edge mode and you can see that this pattern shows the football helmets first, then the regular footballs as the second row, then it goes back with the football helmets and it's gonna do that and alternate those patterns all the way down.